some of the best minds in the world bringing you some of the best knowledge on TRS clips. You want to talk a little bit about bloating? People don't understand what bloating means usually, but uh, I feel it's a very important concept in intermediate health. Once you've gotten done with your basics, right. try figuring out what foods specifically bloat your body because if you're able to cut them off, your body actually becomes really aesthetic. It Absolutely. becomes lean. The way you look changes. The way yeah. your face looks changes. Yeah. So people should know this. You want to talk a little bit? Absolutely. So I'll give you an example. Like models before they go on stage mm. for swimsuit rounds or bodybuilders. Leading up to the event, they even calculate the drops of water that they consume. Mm. Why? Because too much of water can cause bloating and dehydration can also cause bloating. At the same time, they start to cut down on carbohydrates. Why? Because when we ingest carbohydrates, carbohydrates also store water. Mm. So you can have that puffy look and all of that stuff. This is just for the day of the competition and then they're back. Okay, so the point is we understand now if I'm eating a lot of carbohydrates or sugars, simple sugars, I am going to store more water. Mm. I am going to have a puffy look. I'm going to be bloated. In India, a lot of people, they come and say, Luca, put on weight, but they're actually just bloated. Mm. They're carrying three to four kilos of excess water in them. And then as you start to work with their food and their lifestyles, they said, hey, my stomach's flat. Wow, it's gone. You were never fat. You were bloated. Mm. So bloating is trapped gas or trapped water. Food can be a cause like gluten. If you're intolerant, a lot of people eat gluten and they're fine. Lactose. Some people are intolerant. Some people just have weak guts. So they could have it, but now they can't because their guts are weak. Mm. That can bloat you up. If your gut is weak, maybe lentils, the normal lentils and legumes like your rajma chana that you grew up on. Now, all of a sudden, you can't eat it because it bloats you up. Yeah, why, why does this happen? Like, why does your body develop intolerances towards gluten, lactose or uh, lentils later on in life? Like, yeah. What's happening inside your body? Okay, let me, let me give it with an example. I will develop an intolerance to a person Okay, if I start to become weak and insecure about that person or that person becomes like a stronger threat to me, mm. it's the same thing with the body. If my gut starts to get weaker, I can't handle the foods that I once could have. Mm. Or because food's changing today, there's a lot of GMO and all of that stuff, pesticides in our food. Now that's a threat, but technically our body should be able to handle it. But if I'm not weak enough to handle it, now that becomes a threat in my body. Mm. So when we suddenly get an intolerance, it's because poor gut health and poor liver health. And our liver is dealing with pollution, pesticides. So if we don't maintain a clean liver, that's the seat house of allergies. So when you go to a doctor to check allergies, you get a tablet. Okay, but today you need to understand that if I want to overcome those allergies, I have to look at my liver and I also have to look at my gut because they both work together to prevent allergies, fight allergies. So if I have weakness in either of these organs, I am gonna be prone to more and more allergies. And then there are some allergies which you're born with and it will continue. It's because you don't have the immune factors to basically neutralize that particular allergen or that dust or that pollen. Mm -hmm. One more intermediate health uh, angle, gut health. Mm -hmm. Let's just talk about it very quickly. Everyone knows that you need probiotics. You get it from uh, curd, like dahi, right. yogurt, uh, what else do you get it from? Good, like as in you get it from your pickled vegetables. You get it from okay. your pickles. You you get it, and your kombucha. prebiotics, kombucha as well. But again, all of these things are overrated. And I'll tell you something: probiotics are not always good for you. Mm. So you're talking about a gut microflora that has trillions, trillions of strains. And we pick up a probiotic bottle and we say, oh, 50 billion strains." Now you think you're putting 50 billion amongst trillions. You don't know how it's going to fire. You don't know how it's going to work. Sometimes probiotics will create more disruption. You're disrupting in intelligence. That is why it has to be decided the right way. How do you decide? It got, again, based on your symptoms. Based today, people are like, oh, I'm, I'm bloated. Let me take a probiotic. But you're bloated because you're dehydrated. You're sleep deprived. So why do you need a probiotic? Right? So it's always with intention. You take up, they're fantastic. You can, I can stop someone's diarrhea with a probiotic if I know that the bacterial infection has disrupted some of the bacteria. So mm. now I'm populating it and I can solve it. But if that's not the root cause, how does a probiotic work? Mm. And we should, we should understand it's an ecosystem. So even the air, the weather, anxiety in a room, my thought process can actually change how my gut's working. Today, there's amazing research that every antibiotic that we've taken or any illegal substance or any substance we've taken our microbiome has already produced a strain to recognize that, like a blueprint. Mm. It is so intelligent. So if you ask me today, gut health, if you want to improve your gut health, you want to reset your gut, fasting. Because what you do is you stop putting stuff in your system. You give it a break to repopulate with its own intelligence. So fasting is the easiest reset. The second easiest reset, 
cut out sugar for a week. Cut out all processed food for a week. So now you're getting diversity of micronutrients from natural foods that can help you to populate your gut. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the entire episode and also check out this playlist that we've curated just for you.